Hi everybody, it's your old pal Chuck, and I am back with another review, and today I am sort of excited to bring to you the first deluxe figure that I've been able to get my hands on from the Transformers The Last Night movie line. This is Berserker. I was able to get the Berserker off of eBay from Kokomo Toys. Um, you really did need to get there fast and not take it slow because they had very limited stock, and unfortunately I think most of the figures are sold out now. I think the only thing that's left are, uh, repaints of, uh, from the, you know, Wave 1 Legion figures. Berserker is an all-new mold. He's obviously a little bit of a dread. Looks a little bit like the Predator to me. Uh, I don't know, maybe it's just me, maybe it's you too. Uh... Very nice packaging as part of the Premier Edition. Um, if I remember correctly, these will retail about $20. Uh, I paid about 30 but that was with shipping included, which, you know, ends up, yeah, that's basically, I just paid for the figure and shipping. Um, it comes with two accessories, uh, these little spiked weapons. Uh, you can see they can be held in the hand or stored on the back, and... Um, Yes, I do actually uh, have him hunched over. That's actually how you are supposed to uh, display the figure, since he does have uh, digigrated legs. Uh, um, other than that, uh, the one thing I really do like about this figure is the head. It's very expressive. It's on a double joint. Some of that is for transformation, but you can get a lot of looks going here. Oops, and I'm pushing the figure down as I am you know, talking about it. And you know, and you can really just fool around and get a lot of out of this figure. Uh, but other than that, we'll just pause and we'll unfortunately get into the worst part of the figure, which is the transformation. Okay, I've gone ahead and returned the figure to a neutral pose. I've removed the weapons, and we can start. First step, return, return the figure around, um, and then you're going to... These little fins are on a ball joint. You want to bring them down. At the same time, you want to go ahead and swing out the door panels on the side of the arms here. Uh, just as an FYI, um, these are, at least on my figure, not glued in. So they do have a tendency to pop off during transformation. So you just can, uh, thanks to the ball joint here on these fins, you can wiggle them around. There are little uh, tabs on the back of the arm, right where my finger is that basically there's a sort of slots on these. They don't peg in, but they just slot in. And I guess while you're back here, uh, you can go ahead and flip up the arms. Uh, I mean, they tell you to do it from the front, but if you want to see what you're doing, you can do it from the back. Turn around. While we're back here, do almost forgot. Um, the figure is slightly mistransformed. This whole backpack assembly, there are two grooves in the light bar, which I'll point out when we unfold it, that peg into the back. Also, this waist piece is collapsed in the uh, in packaging. You just want to snap it into place. It does fold up for transformation, but I just wanted to point that out for you right now. So, with that said, we just come back around the front, rotate the arms up. Now, what you want to do, what you might find yourself, uh, you know, uh, wanting to do is bring the head from here all the way back and then have it sit back in that group. I would say don't do that. Keep the head forward so that you do have a little space there. And then rotate the arms up, just like so. And then on this double joint, swing them up and around. Now you would think there would be some sort of, you know, pegging in or something here, and there went that door piece. Oh, I knew it was going to happen eventually. Let's keep track and see how many times that happens during the review. Hopefully not too many. Hopefully I can also peg it in right. Uh, this is a really, I mean, it's a cool looking figure, but the transformation's a bit of a pain. So, yeah, you have the arms up like that. Just like so. And you would say, as I was saying, you would want them to peg in, but they don't. So just try to keep them uh, fairly straight. And, you know, you're, you're going to have to work with them a little, which we'll, you'll see. Next, we're going to come down to the legs. First thing that you want to do is come up to the bottom here and flip up the heels. Next, just straighten the legs out. That means unbend the knee straighten them out at the hip, and then with the feet, which were digigrated, 
straighten those out. Next, rotate them at the thigh, just so that they're facing in, like there. And again, you would think they would peg in, you would hope they would peg in. God knows I was hoping they would peg in, but they don't. Next step is you do want to now bend at that spot right above the crotch. Just bring it down and then continue to bring the legs up and the waist down. And it's party time because now here's the deal. There is this part of the foot, this back part, is a tab that will slot into that spot right where my finger is. There is also a... And then there's a little spot also where around right... Uh, here we go. Right there, there is a tab that, spits, that will peg into on the uh, arm. So you basically are just going to start bringing stuff together. It's not going to be pretty. I've done this a couple times. It does become a bit of a pain. And it is a pain. Especially when things start popping off. And hopefully, do I have that right? And you know, you, you, you kind of have to swing panels out and Trying to, uh. So there you have that, and so far so good. We can, you know, put this down a little, and we can come up to this front grill. Basically, what you want to do is flip this up, bring it straight up like that. That will snap into place, and bring out that back wing. Right where my fingers are, those are the two tabs I was talking about, and they peg into those slots there. Next, what you want to do is just go ahead and hinge this back over. And while you're doing that, flip up this windshield, bring it down like that. And all that nice work you just did is going to get undone because now you got to bring this in and there are tabs and slots that have to uh, go together. And Oh, that actually went together oh, fairly well. No, it didn't. No, it didn't. I thought it went together well. It did not. But, yeah, there you go, got about that. I think we kind of got it there. So you have this down, you just want to bring that down like that. This is the front bumper piece that'll swing up, and that pegs into place. And now, these panels, which you've sort of already moved due to the course of transformation, will swing forward, tab here, into the socket there in the hip. They are on a double joint, so just peg them in. They do peg into the side of that windshield as well. And if it all comes together nicely, which it sort of has not. Oh, wait, maybe, maybe. See, the part of the, the other problem is like the little joints on the inside tend to bend, and if they bend ever so slightly, it knocks everything out of whack. But I'm just glad you guys are seeing this because, yeah, hey, needlessly complicated transformations are back in the movie line. Who Who's excited? Okay, so that's the last step there. And I'm just going to pause real quick and fix this up because before I smash this thing into a thousand pieces. Okay, so... Basically, I have it together. Um, yeah, it's one of these things where you can peg in one section and the other section will pop out. And you basically will have to give it a little... Uh, if you've been a long-time fan, you know the transformation squeeze, where you just got to give it a little squeeze at the end. Unfortunately, there are some gaps in the sides here, right around where the doors are. Um, nothing really can prevent that. There is weapon storage. You have two options. Take the two weapons right underneath here. On the inside of the legs are little grooves for the hooks to go in. They face opposite directions. So you just peg it in like that. Or, and then the other one you just would put in like that. Or, come back out here. These little grooves on the side of the vehicle, you can slot the weapon in. 
just like so. Probably a little deeper than that. But it does roll quite nicely. Personally, um, I'd prefer just storing them underneath just like that. Really nice uh, SUV. Um, but getting it into this mode is quite a pain. I mean, transformation back is nothing because once you start, you pop one panel, everything just comes apart. So, we'll just pause and I'll give you my final thoughts. The first thought that comes into my head when uh, dealing with Berserker is, man, I wish I got Barricade. Uh, the second thought is, this is a very fiddly transformation. It's not overly difficult, but because it's so fiddly, that's what makes it difficult. And I really hope this isn't indicative for the rest of the Deluxe line, because I think we have the potential of some really cool figures. Uh, especially with those dragon figures. If they're going to be fiddly and a pain to transform, you know, pa tabbing things together, panels not coming together, I don't see the Deluxe line selling well. Because, let's be honest, the movie line, even the Deluxe figures, which are supposed to be for collectors, is really aimed at kids. Like I said at the beginning, I got this figure uh, off of eBay from Kokomo Toys. Um, they should be hitting retail soon. I've already heard reports of GameStops, Targets, getting the one-step figures, and a Toys R Us in Texas act or actually had the um, Voyager figures. Oop, I actually made a mistake. It was a Target in Texas had the Voyager figures, and it was a Toys R Us that had the one-steps. So, they're slowly coming out. Um, you know, if, you, if you're going to buy a, fig, a deluxe figure, go for Barricade. It just looks a lot nicer. It's not a repaint. Uh, it and Berserker are the only two mo new molds uh, in that first wave of deluxes, I think, I'm pretty sure. So get Barricade first and then maybe wait for a sale on Berserker. Who knows? This is your old pal Chuck for Berserker. We will see you next time.